Don't be surprised to see these kind of videos on my channel because I have so many interests in my life and I love them all. And I wish for you to have many interests and to love your interests. So let's do it. I used to play basketball professionally and I couldn't resist but make this video. I was not a great pointer, but I was a great passer. But looking at Jokic and what he's doing, I'm so enjoying everything that he does. Not his points, but how he reads the game. I didn't want to do my own reaction because uh, he is my countryman and someone can say that I'm not objective. That's why I'm giving you others' opinion. By the way, no matter that he is my countryman, I think he's incredible, incredible player. And I think his abilities are yet to be seen and developed. What I do like about him, and I'm going to say here, is that he is a team player. And I love that about him. I love that he makes everyone participate in a game, of course, if they move around, if they open themselves to be assisted. So it's a beautiful watching him orchestrating the game. Check it out. I didn't even see him. I didn't even see him. OT! That was for game? What the fuck? Yo, not only, bro, not only is it sweet that you're doing this, but if you can do this under clutch moments, you rise up even higher, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're 10 times better. You're doing this under clutch moments, and that goes for any person that could consider the GOAT. You can't be a GOAT if you can't, if you're not... OT. It's OT right now. They're down three. You know what I'm saying? And you can't put up a, a, a clutch shot to win the game. Or you can't make a great pass, a great assist to win the game. You feel me? Or tie the game up. If you can't do that, you're not considered a GOAT. You're just a GOAT in the regular season, maybe, but not of all time. Uh, okay. who, who, is the, who is the toughest person to guard, the toughest big for you to guard in the league? Who's the guy you're like, yo, I'm just going to be it on the a long night, right? You know what I mean? Right now, Embiid probably. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. well, I get mean, it. <laughs> I mean, Embiid, Jokic, like, yeah. like with Jokic, is different. Embiid is like, he's just so big and strong and like, he, you know what's up with him. But like with Jokic, you get put through so much stuff that you don't get put through as a big like they set picks for him like he's handling the ball in pick and roll they set the rip screens for him he's coming off of pin downs like as a big you're not used to that kind of stuff how annoying is that for you as a big to have to deal with that i hate that yeah i'm, I'm gonna be real you doing it guard and joker you feel me yeah, like, yeah he plays super hard like he plays so hard like he never takes possessions off so like you can't you can't relax with him wherever you want it bro wherever you want it now it's so funny how the last clip I ended is on the Lakers, man. I'm so disappointed in y'all, man. I thought y'all was going to bring way more energy, but Joker is whooping our ass. And sometimes you got to give credit where credit is due. We don't hate over here. We appreciate over here. Y'all well, let me know what other big men I'm missing or if I'm missing a big man or if I'm bugging out. Is this not one of the craziest passers ever? Like, what in the world? He's not even moving, people. I got. I, I need y'all to realize he barely even moving out here. Like you know what I'm saying? He barely taking steps out here. He can't jump. He averaged at every athletic turn, and it's crazy how he's just so dominant in the game. Like you can see how he's dominating in the game. Like what? This is crazy. Like, it, he is head and shoulders above like you know what I'm saying. Most centers that ever played. Like for real, for real. Like let's be honest. I'm trying to think about all the centers in my brain right now. And how can he... What? He could bring the ball up, start the offense, post you up, get buckets, make sure he's setting the team up. Like, everything run through him. This is literally like the first time I've ever seen everything run through a big man. And because, you know, all the other big men had to have a point guard to set them up. You don't even have to set Joker up because he's the people... He's setting you up. He got a gym teacher body... 
with the IQ of like one of the greatest players I ever seen. I'm not going to front at his position. Like, let's be honest. His like how he's seeing the floor is 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 special right now. Real, real special. Like that is. It's tough to be his size and to be able to, you know what I'm saying, do what he's able to do and hit them little like windows and like them. That shit is kind of hard. Oh my god, this man Joker is so different. He literally gives the ball, gives back. He's about to go for a post up, but he already knew he was going past. The Serbian Magic Johnson. He said about having the IQ, the court vision, the wherewithal, the drive, and the desire to get better and make your teammates better. To have the understanding that you're only going to be successful if you make your team successful. And in an age where talent is focused more on themselves and how they secure their next contract, it makes Jokic especially unique with his unselfishness combined with elite level court vision and passing and downright next level when it comes to his value and impact on the court. While also not wasn't fast, wasn't athletic, a lot of times it almost seemed like he didn't care when he was on the court, but he produced. In his rookie season, he averaged 10 points per game, 7 rebounds, and 2.4 assists on only 21 minutes per game, and coming off the bench for nearly half the season. Jokic would go on to receive all rookie first-team honors and actually finish third in Rookie of the Year voting in 2016, only behind Carl Anthony Towns, who won Rookie of the Year, and Kristaps Porzingis, making him even more of a threat on offense with not only his ability to score, but having eyes in the back of his head and spatial awareness to create plays around him for others. But what makes Jokic such a unique superstar is not necessarily his performance. Not the fact that he doesn't fit the typical mold of a big man with his body, speed, and athleticism. It's the fact that Jokic is one of the most unselfish superstars you will ever see in the NBA. Yes, every player has an ego, including Jokic. But for Jokic, who has said before, basketball is not his number one priority. And for a guy who isn't about the limelight, who just wants to be a homebody, sees the game of basketball as going to work, doing his best to get the job done, and then calling it a day, is not something you typically see from superstars around the league, both past and present. But the numbers don't lie, people. The numbers do not lie. So when people ask, how good is Jokic? He's a combination of Kevin Durant. He's a combination of Magic Johnson. He's a combination of Tim Duncan. He's a combination of all of these guys. guys. So when you look at his scoring, his passing, his rebounding, his three-point shooting, his defense, he lists up either better or at the same number as all of these guys combined. That is mind-blowing. This is the single greatest postseason run that we have seen from a statistical standard ever. Ever, and that's all it is. When do we ever think a seven-foot Serbian guy will take over the NBA and do things we had never seen before? And we have the next coming of Larry Bird. His name is Nikola Jokic. What impresses you about Nikola Jokic? He makes me smile. Uh, He has a lot of fun out there. And he's unorthodox. And he doesn't look the part. I've said it before, he looks like a kind of a tall pudge kind of guy out there with uh, no real muscle definition, so to speak. He doesn't look athletic. He doesn't sprint up and down the court. He doesn't jump out of the gym. uh, And then he kicks your butt uh, because he's so skilled. uh, He's clever. uh, He is totally unselfish. And you combine all that, and it's just... What a great guy to play with. And on top of everything, uh, he finds people. And when people receive passes, they're happy. Uh, And he delivers very often. Because you talk about him, what does it say about him? Sheesh. He is him. He's a great person. He is him. He's a great father and son and brother. And on the basketball court, he's proven time and time again that he's the best player in the NBA. Yep. We love him. He's, 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 he's the whole NBA's MVP. Sorry, Embiid. Everybody knows that, Silva. Go back to Mario Kart. Bill Russell, finals MVP, goes to Nikola Jokic. The GOAT. Jeez, look at that unit. And now a finals MVP, but what does it mean to you to now just just to be a champion, to be able to celebrate? I'm him, I've always been him. You know, as we said, really one, one really good thing. We are, we are not winning for ourselves, we are winning for, for the, the guy next to us. And that's why this is more, is even more, because uh, I was winning for Jamal, Jamal was winning for Adrian. 
He almost averaged a triple double in the finals. Come on now. Who's doing that? Big boy picked up some speed. He doesn't want to shoot that ball. And one. AD, you're a little baby. For the basket. Can do nothing about Joe. Okay, what? Lakers, here they go again. Just cooks the Lakers. Just cooks them. Hey, what you having for breakfast, Jokic? Lakers. Who is he making these shots? He should have been MVP of the league. I'm sorry. And B doesn't deserve that. Oh. Oh. Big man with the finesse. <laughs> bro, I love Jokic, bro. He's my new favorite player. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame on the way. Once he wins this year. They're going to go to Jokic. Top five big man. Hell you. <laughs> hey, yes, sir. Love to see the big man get up. Oh, my gosh. Jokic going crazy. Hey, chill out, buddy. I didn't start you. Sheesh. 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 All right, guys. Um, that's Jokic. That's freaking Jokic. I don't know what more you want. Um, if you look at his last nine performances, he's like averaging a dribble-double. So uh, how does he not win MVP? Who knows? I think this whole thing is scuffed. That's one thing about Jokic, man. His passing is insane for a big man. I don't think I've ever seen Jokic go 100 miles an hour. Full speed. Uh. Bro. What if they put... What if... <laughs> what if Luka and uh, Jokic were on the same team? Bro, I'm getting season tickets. I don't care what team you're playing for. Denver or Dallas. Bro, that would be dynamic. His passing, man. That's what makes him elite. Where's our rank in this playoff run in particular? Because this is crazy. This is crazy. The beginning. I'm sorry, Melo. Jokic got you, bro. All it took was... I mean, they, people already said it was going to be Joker. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. You should have picked a different number. I ain't going to lie, bro. That's better. The 10 assists means you accounted for more points than said, you know, because they both get 30. Two more rebounds, so, so what? Whatever, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to Shaq, by the way. Field goal percentage is pretty much the same. Jokic is shooting jump shots, though. Free throw percentage, obviously. I mean, come on now. History for percentage, this is not even available. <laughs> this is crazy, dog. It's literally impossible. For one, Brody just too Brody just too big, bro. That's just that's just And then once he swing, once he swing and open up, somebody else go help, like he said, somebody else go help. And that's gonna leave two to three people wide open every time. Not to mention, have y'all seen some of the shots this boy been hitting, bro? Oh, man. I ain't gonna lie. The way they did the Lakers, bro, they might never forget that, bro. Bro, on trees. Literally, though. Nikola Jokic next to the words triple double so much this season. I almost forgot. That's, see what I'm saying? I ain't gonna pause it too much, bro, but come on, bro. 10 triple double of the playoffs? It's easy, bro. They were really hard to achieve. In three-point percentage. Oh. That is different. Steph is at nine. I mean, he takes... I'm going to give him a little bit of a he, he takes a little more, but that don't matter. That don't matter. Hurry Without up. wasting too much of y'all time, we got Mr. Finals MVP. The most unguardable dude in the league right now. He one of them. Because every time I look at the stat sheet, why is it 30 points, 20 rebounds, and 10 to 15 assists? Huh? It's just not. <laughs> it, it ain't adding up, bro. <laughs> this, nigga been, this nigga been crazy, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. He's been crazy. You know what I'm saying? Swept, swept the Lakers. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't think that the Heat has enough power, power for Jokic and the bio. I don't think anybody can stop Jokic. I don't. No, Jimmy Butler, like I said, he's, he's him. Don't get me wrong, but 
I don't think I, I don't think he can beat the Nuggets. I'm gonna be honest with you. Murray and Jokic have been crazy out the pick and rolls, bro. Or the pick and pops. They've been crazy out that shit. Unstoppable. No team could stop them yet. No team. Aaron Gordon going crazy too, bro. And they got underrated, man. Give and go. This man been Joker perfect the whole. Everyone standing. Jokic. Here comes the reigning two-time MVP phase. This man been perfect the whole playoffs. I just don't understand. Look, Looks so effortless. What the hell, bro? It's a white boy cold, man. It's a cold white boy, man. Look, I'm not trying to bring race into nothing, but this is just true what I'm saying. White dudes are evolving. They are evolving. Now, this is the best player in the league. You know what I'm saying? The best player in the league. You know, they are evolving. I swear, white boys did not hoop like this for for back in the days. I ain't gonna cap to you. Back in the days, they ain't not hoop like this for for. Just keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? I never seen no 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 white center doing like that. This boy play like a straight brother. You know what I'm saying? What, what white center y'all seen playing like this? He's the best player in the league, bro. In the league. He's not just the best center in the league. He's the best player in the league. You know what I mean? Three time MVP. I don't give a damn what you say. I feel like Yoko's is just, when when his career ends, I feel like he's gonna be the best center of all time. Best center of all time. He's already breaking hella records. And people look at me crazy when I say I prefer Jokic over Shaq. Blindsided Joker, right? So Joker retaliates. What she should do in Joker. Oh, I'm talking about, mm, gave him that good elbow to the ribs. And then, then this nigga Marquise Morris is going to lie on the ground and act like he hurt. Like, bro, you started it. So I ain't got no problem with what Joker did. I'm with it. I love it. I love it. They Joker got fined uh, one game. So he lost probably a lot more money than Marquise lost. Markeith got fined 50000 Um, I think how, how is Markeith getting less of the punishment when he started it? Like, that don't make no sense, bro. And then he gonna fall on the ground and flop and do all that after you. Man, get the fuck out of here. I'm curious to see what Shaq and Chuck are gonna say. Because they old school. I seen Chuck get hit and Chuck come back swinging punches and same with Shaq. So let's see what they say, bro. Oh, Markeith Morris with the shot oh, to oh. Nikola Jokic and the Boom. Joker with the shot. Let's go, Joker. We don't take that shit. In the back to Look at Morris. this little crybaby. You want to start it, bro? And both ejected. No a... word on a suspension yet. No. So which one are you going to suspend? Both, should they both be suspended? One game, yes. Yes, probably one game. I agree. Because of the because of the because of the letter of the law of the NBA. But I like what the Joker. What if there was? See, I knew Shaq was going to like that okay shit. Okay with what? With what Joker did. Wait, hold oh, on. Oh, what no, did no, Joker no. do? No, I'm just saying. What did Joker do? Hold on, look at Chuck. Gave him a shot in the back and whiplashed him. No, no. Whoa, whoa, hold on, oh, Ernie. Ernie. Did, did he not? Get him, Shaq. <laughs> did he not? Ernie, it's called retaliation. And yes, I it is. First of all, when you hit me, don't turn around. Don't turn around, bro. <laughs> Facts. Marquise Morris turned his back after he did that. Like, Joker wasn't going to do nothing. Facts. Brad Miller, because I'm swinging. Don't, <laughs> do not turn around. You're either going to take it in the front or take it in the back. As a big guy, when, when a little guy hits you, you got to touch him on the back. I have no problem with what the Joker did. I actually like it as a big guy. You got these guys fouling on you, hanging on. He hit them. Unintentional, I mean, intentional, unnecessary roughness. So what do you do as a big guy? You go hit him back. Boom. When you hit me, don't turn your head because it's coming. Well, it's like, well, first of all, Morris started it. Facts. Let's get first. Facts. Joker retaliated. And then people say, well, he hit him in the back. Well, if you hit me, I'm with Shaq on him. Let me tell you something. Don't turn your you back. Me, you better not turn your damn back because <laughs> I'm coming back at you. You can't hit somebody and turn your back. You just said On 57% shooting, this was his masterpiece. Now take a look at Jokic's numbers from this postseason. Shaq was one of a kind because he was so unstoppable that he didn't need any variance in his oh. game. But right now, he's shooting Nikola Jokic is dominating the game Shaq like while a attempting prime threes. Shaquille O'Neal. While shooting 47% from three, while hitting 80% of his free throws, while orchestrating the offense nearly I'm every I'm telling you, this guy's peak is smoking Jokic a lot of the peaks, but that's why I say you got to just wait until his career is over though, because the game has ever seen. Look, and he's doing it in a way logically, that he should he could. be more than a Among lot of other people. the greatest offensive players of all time. Among players with at least 1,000 career playoff shot attempts, Jokic also ranks second in three-point percentage. Now, before you go and pick your jaw up off the floor, I must also tell you that among high-volume playoff shooters, there are only two players in NBA history who have career splits of 50-40-80. Kawhi Leonard and Nikola Jokic. Jokic goal, is really good man. at Hey, I thought his highlights was gonna be boring. Joke good. Joke good. It was.
Nah, Jokic definitely had a top five playoff run of all time. Up there with Dirk. Probably better than Dirk. Look who he beat. LeBron, AD, KD, D-Book, Jimmy Butler, Bam, CP3. Nigga, the list goes on. That nigga went stupid. I ain't gonna lie. He beat a lot of talent. He for sure was deserved that ring. Average. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't gonna lie. Jokic's the best player in the league. Creating more offense Crazy. than any player in any season ever. Crazy stuff, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> Nikola Jokic is something special, bro. Like, uh, I don't even know. He's like a, 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 yes, like a Magic Johnson, but like with Dirk Nowitzki's length and ability to just like, he's literally modern day Dirk Nowitzki, except he has the passing abilities of Magic Johnson. Like, bro, Nikola Jokic is special. And the crazy thing about his style of play, bro, he's not like a John Moran or uh, like a, a Giannis, like a guy who could just extremely athletic, run, jump just all of that like his his play style is more settled i would say like it does it's not based entirely on athleticism and not, not at all because uh you know that's just how nicola jokic is but it's more based on like iq it's he's more like a iq based type of player you guys know what i'm saying but yeah his style of play is like longevity like bro he he could play another 15 more years with his style of play and still be very, very, very useful to any team. So. But when Jokic has the ball, his teammates are engaged, knowing that if they get open, he will find them. Like this play right here. Jokic sets the screen for Murray and Who wouldn't want Nikola Jokic on this Murray team? looks to feed Jokic the ball. But very unselfish. And since there's no one in the end. Bro, it's literally like, okay, so yeah, of course the Denver Nuggets, they got a point guard, Jamal Murray. But if you look at who the real point guard is, their point guard is their center. <laughs> it's like the roles, I wouldn't say the roles are reversed, but like Jamal Murray basically plays shooting guard and Nikola Jokic is the point guard. And then everybody else is like small forward, power forward. And then AG would be like the real center, you know? It's crazy, bro. There's no need for a point guard when you got Nikola Jokic. NBA who can guard you. Got it, and he puts it away. Nikola with authority. Jokic with 35, 15, and 6 on the night. Oh, oh that's clever, that's clever. That's like a slap right to the edge, a little tip pass. Yeah. Well, I just took his time. Nice. I mean, that's, well, it seems like he can do just about anything. Is he an all-rounder? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still sure. getting to grips with the positioning of. Yeah, it, it all comes to me eventually. I'll get there. I think his height definitely helps in, in his blocking game because he look is a tall and he's well, yeah, got two game winning blocks alone. Yeah, just been in this compilation. That's not anything think. else. Wingspan, very tall. Yeah. Um, yeah, brilliant. That one earlier when he he had the two guys jumping at him and he just did the overhead pass for the three pointer. Yeah, he was brilliant. barely lifted off as well. Uh, exactly. He was he was rooted to the rooted to the floor for it. Yeah, it looks like he can do everything, like you said. That's fine. That's, That's fine. Right. I got a bit premature with the space, but you know, <laughs> yeah. get excited. It looks like he can do everything, and if he, he can, then your statement about being the best player on the planet. Oh well, well hey, I didn't say my statement. No, I you underlined it. You signed it. I, mean, I don't mind. I might not mind. We just seen what he's been doing recently, yeah. so you know, I'll take that. Yeah, it looks incredible. It's a screen okay. for Murray yeah. and Steel. We kind of touched on this, didn't we, when we were watching the playoffs? Yeah, saying like if Miami focused too much on Jokic. Uh, they've, got, they've got all the other Jamal Murray's and um, Christian Brown. Uh, Nail show. Yeah, but they have all the other ones that were coming around. Anthony Gordon. He's going to be That's what I'm saying. They, they've got. They were a complete team. They had a solid, probably a solid seven or eight. You know, even coming off the bench. You know, people were coming off the bench. They had the rookie, like I say, who was coming off smashing them, yeah. sort of thing. But you had, and then when they didn't focus on him, he was there doing it himself. And that's yeah. kind of what he's saying, eh, Jimmy? Isn't he? He's exactly, saying, so he's yeah. saying exactly what we were talking about the other day. In a, in a better in a better context than what we put it, yeah, yeah. we put it more in like a football in terminology sort of thing, didn't yeah, we? Exactly, yeah. But um, he's, he's sort of like explained it in a very similar way to what we were talking about, but in a better way. He's just untouchable. Mm. You go with him. He's you, too you big. Go with him, he's good. But if you go with him, he's got the team. If you don't go with him, he'll put it away. Yeah. Simple. That that is um, just unguardable, isn't it? Yeah, he's unguardable. Yeah. yeah. Butler off. And he's a jet. Nice. Soft, Nicely. Like, come on. Jokic. He got it in his blood, in his veins. This comes natural. Ooh. Nah, this is beautiful. Come on. What a great look over the top. Hazo drills it. Pass the green over to Jokic. Down the middle of the board, and it's a slam dunk festival. Having someone setting you up like that, golden, golden, golden. Oh, look at that pass. Look at the finish. What a play. What did 
we just see there? Teamwork! My goodness! Woo, teamwork a la Jokic! Jokic collects it behind the back! So unselfish to let. Come on. Come on. He said you got it. Nice. Now, if you if you'd have threw it behind him, bro, I'd have been like, yo, okay, now this dude, he might be a glitch in the matrix, bro, because there's no way he's seen him. Joker spins inside. See if he made it fast to the right. Nice. Ugh. And Gore been going crazy this whole year, huh? Joker's trying to get him going by push. Turns the base. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, bro. The, the thread, the needle. The needle, bro. 5,000 people in the, in the paint right now. He still is able to make this pass. Usually people wouldn't even put this pass up, bro. I mean, not pass, but people wouldn't even make this pass because they're like, oh, the paint is too crowded. Literally, the whole team is in the paint. His team included. So him... Plus other team, I mean his team plus other team is in the paint, and he just still decides to make a God, I'm talking about a a laser. Bro could have been a quarterback, bro. He could have been a quarterback in the second life. No cap. Look at that touchdown. <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> God damn, bro, chill. Touchdown. Oh, man. Clutch, dude. That's 40 seconds, seconds left, too. It's clutch. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Grabbing boards with one hand. Uh, ooh. Uh, I see. Touchdown. Touchdown. Easy. And a foul. The G League ignite. The hell? Nice. Nice. And he making it, and he making it look easy too. <laughs> look at him. It's easy. There you go. Oh, okay. Look. Uh. That was art. That was art. That was art. <laughs> nice, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I don't even know how he be seeing these people, bro. Bro got eyes everywhere. He got eyes like a hawk, bro. You know what I'm saying? He got eyes on literally every single person. Like, bro. It's literally crazy. Ooh. Oh, we seen this in the last reaction. Oh! I know he dunked it like that. That was sweet, though. Look at the legs. Bro, make it, bro just making it look easy, bro. He having fun. That's nothing. Look at this. That boy Yoke is, man. That's what a guy, yo. Misses that oh, there it Jokic. is. Touchdown. <laughs> but Jokic know how to thread the needle, though. Like, just like that. He know how to thread the needle, so it don't really matter for Jokic. Man, bro. Bro, we'll go. What the? Oh, oh, oh. See? That's what I'm talking about. I didn't even. He didn't even. It didn't look like he even. Look at him. How did you pass the ball, bro? Bro, not even. Like, he didn't even have, he didn't, like he didn't even have the ball. Bro, make him a He's a magician out here, bro. He's literally a magician. Look at this. How did he just do that? It literally didn't even look like he passed the ball. What the fuck? This nigga Jokic. This nigga Jokic, bro. This nigga Jokic. What the hell was going on? Oh, that was my best. You know what I'm saying? Triple doubles every single game, bro. Who doing that? Nice. Nice. And he making it, and he making it look easy, too. Look at him. It's easy. There you go. Oh, okay. Look, uh. Eee, that was art. That was art. That was art. <laughs> nice, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I don't even know how he be seeing these people, bro. Bro got eyes everywhere. He got eyes like a hawk, bro. Is it?